Hi and welcome back. I'm Marek Mularczyk and in this movie we're going to talk about new tools inside of Flash CS4. There are a couple of new tools. First let's start off with creating a new Flash file. Click on Create New Flash File, ActionScript 3.0, to create a new blank document. It doesn't really matter what panels you have on the right hand side, it's just the demonstration for you. We've got our toolbar on the left hand side. And the new tools in here, starting from the top, are the 3D tools, 3D Rotation tool and 3D Translation tool. We're going to talk in, in detail about 3D Rotation tool and 3D Translation tool in later movies, in later chapter. So I'm going to omit it for now. We've also got Bone tool and a Bind tool for creating bone systems. And we're going to talk about these tools in detail in later chapters as well. There are also a couple of new tools in here. There's a new spray brush tool. So just click on it to select it. Or press B from your keyboard. Select your spray brush tool. Make sure the properties panel is open. And if you look in your properties panel, it says it's a symbol. So you, you could use the symbol if you have a symbol in your, li in your library. Or you can use the default settings for our brush, spray brush tool. You can choose the color. The def my default color is green because that's my fill color. And then just click and drag on a stage to create a spray brush effect. That's how it works. If you have random scaling selected, the sizes of your dots on a document window will be different. You can also decide on a size. You can choose the size for your spray brush tool. The default size is 92 by 92 pixels, so a square. But you can change it if you prefer it. And you can scale it to bigger or smaller than 100%. Let me just select it. And delete it. I'm going to delete it by pressing the delete key on my, my keyboard. Now back to our spray brush tool. Let's change a color. So click on this color swatch engine here to select a different color. I'm going to select um, blue. And now I'm going to apply Spray Brush Tool on the top of the screen and on the sides and the bottom as well to create a kind of frame for a photograph. Let's change the color. This time let's choose green. And now let's apply a green color as well. So using a spray brush tool, you can easily create interesting effects like frames for your photographs or designs for your websites in quick and easy way. Another new, let's just select everything. So I'm going to press Control A on a keyboard to select everything, or you press Command A on a Mac and press Delete to delete everything from from the stage. Another new tool inside of Flash CSS4 is the Deco tool. Let me just zoom out. So you can see it better, fit in window. That's a deco tool in a toolbar or U on a keyboard. Select it and go to your properties panel. You can choose between different drawing effects. The default is a symmetry brush, grid fill and vine, vine fill. Let's start with the first one, vine fill. Just select it. There are two sections for leaves and flowers. You can just change different colors for leaves and flowers. I'm going to leave it as it is green leaves and the yellow flowers okay and now just click on the stage and then if you want to stop stop it click again let me show you again control a or command a and delete to the delete it back to, to our deco tool click and click again and it's creating the vine fill effect for you on a stage Let's now change it. So Control A on a PC or Command A on a Mac. Mac. Delete to delete it. Back to, to our Deco tool. Let's choose Grid Fill. There's only one color here for the fill. fill. Default is black. Let's change it to something nice like blue. And now let's click. And that's the Grid Fill being filled by Flash for you with my blue color, my color for that. Also with Tecotool you can use symbols if you have symbols you can click on edit 
and can choose the symbols because I don't have any symbols in here, it doesn't work. Let's select everything, Control A, a on a PC or Command A on a Mac and press delete on a keyboard. Back to our deco tool. There's one more option, Symmetry Brush. Symmetry Brush allows you to create two shapes in vertical or horizontal space. So I'm go I've got a Symmetry br Brush. In Advanced option, I can choose Reflect Across Line. I get a line, and if, and if I click in here, I get two symbols reflecting across the, li the line. If I click in here again, I get them in here. And the symmetrical, the distance between the line and each of the points is, is the same. Let's select it, Control A, Command A, and delete it. Back to our deco tool. Let's choose rotate around. This is a very interesting effect. Rotate around. Now I'm going to click once, and it creates a kind of um, clock. Now I've got two handles in here. I c if I drag by this handle here, I can change the distances between the, sh the, sh the squares and also make them s less and less. And dragging this handle is going to rotate it. So I can rotate it. I could easily animate it and rotate it so it, ro it rotates by 360 degrees all the time. I can create an animation like that. And that's about it, about our deco tool. I encourage you to play with these new tools in Flash CS4 and I will see you in next move.